Hey guys, welcome back to Rooster's Farm. There's everything going on. I came up, well, sort of came up with um, an idea. Kind of stole it from my brother, but that's okay because I don't care. I, he has a move over, please. Um, little miniature. Yeah. Uh, holy macaroni, that's not straight at all. Yeah. A little corner for his baby chicks. And I'm like, you know what? That's a pretty freaking good idea. I'm going to steal that idea and put it in my garage. So, we're just going to do some framework today. Back there. Do some framey work. Now, I am not a um, <clears throat> framer. But, I don't care. So, we're going to learn together. With my... Beautiful drill. Ew, there's blood on the floor. And my tapety tape. And, and, and I need screws right here. Hey, don't you dare fall. Please don't fall. It's pretty easy. I've done it before, like on the chicken coop. I don't have my stand set up yet, so I'll have to show you guys. And I'll have to get that set up one of these days. So. Hence, what I'm doing. Granted, I didn't have to put you down. But, maybe I did have to put you down. But, for some reason, mosquitoes decided to invade my shop. And they are everywhere. By everywhere, I mean I've killed eight of them. And it's, shouldn't be mosquitoes out right now. But, whatever. So, the way I do this, once I move everything out of the way. Is you grab my tapey tape, and it's kind of gonna be. Oh, we'll just, oops, we'll just do this two handed because I have to. So you got your first board, which is we'll just go four feet. That's okay, I'm fine. So you get your board like so, all the way through, because that's gonna be your floor or top of it. I'm not good, not that good. I can't do corners. I don't know how. I don't really care because I already have two walls built because it's in my garage, right in the corner. Easy, make my job easier. But, freaking mosquitoes, go away. I want you here, okay. There it is, and I missed them, but whatever. So basically, you got your board running straight as per usual, and then you're gonna go to 16. You can probably put it on the other side. As so, and every, oh, well, I don't remember what the exact ones are, but it's like five and three quarters and 16 and a half or 16 and three quarters. I don't remember how it went exactly, but 16 is the center of the board that goes. So every 16, so every red number is 16 inches, which nice little cool tip is that that works for carpentry or framing or carpentry whatever the hell it is called look at that another one they don't go away stop so you mark it out every 16 oh wait yeah cool fact um that goes for framing because that would be that there's like six here what the heck so you go over 16, and this has got to get tossed in the burn pile. You go over 16, and that also goes for masonry for block, because a block, eight inch block, any block, eight, four, six, three, 12, 10, I think there is. If you put a block down from end to end, is with the mortar joint on each end is 16 inches little life lesson for you something to learn from 
But, so, if we can just square this right, I will throw a drawer screwsy screws in here. And this is all wood that I took from, look at that, another one, bam, you did. Oh, he didn't die. He did not. But these are screws that I took from, these are the ones from the um, um, the old chicken coop fence. And I have a bunch of spare boards. Why is this screw in this one? That's not even the right size. Well, that's, that's what happens. But whatever. So yeah, this is all. three boards so it makes it quite easy now look at the curve in this bad boy but I put curve on inside because I can always push it out I can push it out it would be harder to push it in when it's against the wall or something that's the way I like it and these boards ain't all straight I can tell you that boy uh, so what I probably should do is probably get two in the top. Mm -hmm. With the top board that runs the top. Exactly. That's exactly what I meant to say. This one's got it. So then we at least know we're square from end to end. That can move out the way. And we know we're... Hold on right here. Then we know we're square from end to end. Either way, hopefully there's not a screw in this hole. Man, they are all over the place. Yeah, I don't know why anymore. They are all over the place in here. I got invaded, I guess. Whatever. Don't come to Wisconsin if... Oop. If you uh, can't deal with the mosquitoes and you can't deal with the cold. Because you get both. You get best of both worlds. You get mosquitoes. Oh, right in the wiener. <laughs> You get mosquitoes, and you get to be really cold out. So, uh, uh, let me organize this a little bit because I gotta move some of this stuff because shit's in my way or stuff in my way. And I can't wait. I don't got a lot of room right now. I need to I need to build like a shed or something. Or maybe the old chicken coop can become a shed, so I can store a couple things in there. Things that I don't want. Oh yeah, I shoot my head too. Cause that's what we do in this place. So I already got that other board over there marked. Oh, I, I don't like mosquitoes. So, like I said, that will be your center board. If I, if these mosquitoes can get off my fingers. Ain't nobody like that. So that'll be center of your board, like so. And, uh, and then you forget your drill across the shop all the way over here. <laughs> and then you yeah, bring it over here. What I like to do also, kind of my thing, I'm sure other people do too, is once I get it in. Is the pre-drill one like so. I got all the space in the world. Now, and then I can do this one handed. And my battery's dead. But, uh, oh my god, mosquitoes, jeez. But, you can pre drill it to help yourself out. I mean,. There's blood on my drill. You can help yourself out. Make it 
a little easier on yourself, you know. It's it's all right. I mean, I've done many projects like this by myself. Also, oh, another tip before I forget that too. Um, is uh, if you are doing this by yourself, it is very, oh, even, I mean, I think I've heard people say it. I mean, I guess it's who you're talking to, I guess. But if you pre-build them and then put them up, it's a lot easier. Makes your life easy. And that's all that's what we're all about on the rooster farm is making life easy. Oh, look at that baby going right in. Oh my god, you think that last one was bad? Look at this. Big old curber in there. Let's get a little warp. Oh wait. Oh poopy. I didn't mark or I didn't mark this side, but I flipped the board and I didn't realize that. Hold on. That's right. Oh. Ah. I bet you I flipped it when and then like I said, you just go by the same thing. You just hit every 16, and if you can't hit a board center of your or you can't hit a two by four center of your mark don't be doing that because it's not that hard and i mean i've always heard the phrase from people from everybody not really i mean not everybody but i've heard the phrase where um well since i work masonry i suck at framing because i do everything perfectly straight which wood does not work out right for some reason and i don't know why but everybody says if a mason does carpet or uh carpentry framing whatever it's it's too much i guess it's just everything ends up poopy i guess i don't know why but not my problem right i heard it it's all the same thing because this one's got a big old fat curve in it This one's actually probably use. Yeah, let me do this one. Nah. These ones and these ones, which I use the hex bit because if I I've used Phillips and they suck, they strip and they break and they just suck. I don't like Phillips. I will always use a hex bit from the rest of my life, or unless they come up with a new shape and it's better, but. It probably won't be right in my face. But, yeah, and they're long-ish. I mean, they're just regular construction screws. Nothing fancy, you know, but it is what it is. So, we're going to keep moving along here. Back up. Ah, she's tight. She's, she's tight. Oh, fuck, let me see. Right about there is tight. Now these boards are a little warped considering that it's, they're used once already. Oh, there you got the drill. They're used once already. So they're a little warped, but I don't care that much because, um, I'm not here to I'm not here to make things look fancy, you know. I just do what I'm supposed to do and make money. So do we any project? Well 
started painting chicken coop, but it's been raining these past couple days, and I can't get open. And I mean, you guys would say that I'm wrong, blah, 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 blah. And I might be. I don't care. We're going off my way. The right way, that's what it is. This boy's a little warped on the end here. I don't need this. It shouldn't be right now. I shouldn't be having to deal with mosquitoes right now because they shouldn't be out. You got hit hard, I guess. Whew. But what I like to do is pre-build these in my shop. And I'm obviously not gonna finish because these videos aren't long enough and i'm not going to sit there and do this for three days and cut them out you know how to look you know what it looks like everybody's seen construction so what i do is rebuild them in my shop with some juice pull it out drag it over there put them in now i also have a hammer drill because i'm going to go right to the concrete and just tap on them right down solid maybe one or two screws into the wall if needed, but it should be solid. It's Tapcons and concrete. But it's a, it's a nice little, little little baby chicken coop so I can raise the chicks to the full grown and then I can put them out in the coop, the duck coop when we get that far. A lot of work, but in time. In time it will, time will work out. All right, that's both the rest of the video. See you guys later, see you in the next one.